In this lecture, we're going to learn how to create multiple contexts in the React application. You're not limited to create only one or two contexts. You can create multiple contexts as much as you want. So we are going to talk about how to create multiple contexts and how to use it in the React application. I'm going to create a simple example inside this context folder and show you how you can use multiple contexts. So let me create here a simple file. Let me click on this context folder and create a new file. I'm going to name this file multiple context.js. I'm going to first create a simple class component. I'm going to say here react class component and let me import this inside my index file. Just down here, I'm going to just say here context, multiple context and I'm going to import my component here like this. And just out of that, let me close these files and at the top here, I'm going to create my store. If you want, you can create a dedicated store file as well. That's upon you. For this example, I'm going to use the store inside this same file. I'm going to first create here theme store. So I'm going to see here constant theme context is equal to, then I'm going to say here react dot create context. Or you can just simply say here create context instead of this react object. You need to first import this create context inside this curly braces like this. And I'm going to initialize this with light value. So this is my first context. Just for that, I'm going to create my another context. So just down here, I'm going to say assigned in user context. And just down here, I'm going to say constant user context is equal to, and to create a context, I'm going to say create context. And inside it, I'm going to pass an object. Object with name property and value is going to be guest. That's upon you. You can pass any value to this context. Now we have two contexts inside this file. Let me show you how you can use both these contexts. Just for that, inside this parent component, I'm going to use component provider. I'm going to add that component provider later. Just for now, let's create a new component here. Just down here, I'm going to create a functional component, layout, and inside it, I'm going to return JSX. Just down here, I'm going to return division tag, and inside another div, I'm going to say the layout component and inside it i have another component called content let me create this component as well just down here so this is the second child component let me create this component i'm going to say here function content and inside it i'm going to simply return jsx i'm going to import this component inside this layout and i'm going to use this layout inside my parent component inside this content I'm going to call my theme context provider to access the context value. So for now, let me create here a div and say theme context provider. Let me save this file back to the top and let me use my providers here. So let me get rid of this div and here, as you know, to get the provider, you can use this context. So I'm going to say here theme context dot provider. I'm going to use my first context theme store and call a provider of it. Let me close this provider and specify value to it. Value is equal to, and I'm going to change this default value. So I'm going to say here, dot. Inside this provider, I can use my another provider, which is this user context. I can just wrap this user context inside this theme context. This is my parent provider, and this is my child provider. That's upon you. You can use this user context as a parent to this theme context as well. That's completely upon you. So inside this theme context provider, I'm going to add here a component called user context dot provider. Let me close it. And inside it, I'm going to specify value. And using this value property, I'm going to specify value to this name property. So let me just copy it, paste it here. And instead of guest, I'm going to say here snow. And inside this user provider child component, I'm going to use my layout. Let me just copy this component and call it here. Now, once I have my provider, let me consume my context value inside my second child component right here. So inside this content, let me get it out of this div and here to consume the value of your context, you can use the consumer. So I'm going to just call here theme context dot consumer. Let me close this component like this. And as you know, this component takes the child component. So inside this theme context right here, I'm going to call a child component inside this parenthesis. So inside it, I'm going to set theme and call child function here. 
like this. You can pass any name to this parameter. That's upon you. And just for that, inside this theme context, consumer, as you know, you have your user context. Let me just access it inside this function. I'm going to say here, user context, this one. And I'm going to access the consumer of this user context. So I'm going to say here dot consumer. Let me close this. And as you know, this is the consumer of user context. So let me just call here a child function. So just down here, I'm going to say parenthesis, curly braces, and say here user and pass a child function here. You can notice how I pass the child functions with both these consumers. Now inside this user, I'm going to just simply print console.log and first I'm going to print theme, this parameter, and then I'm going to print console.log user, this parameter. Let me save this file and try to execute. When I reload the browser, you can notice. When I reload the browser, you can notice I'm not going to get anything inside my console. If you just take a look at this child functional component, then you can notice here, I did not return anything from this child function. I have to return something from this child function so I can get it inside my console. So what I'm going to do is, instead of this curly braces, I'm going to get rid of this curly braces and pass here parenthesis, just like this. So I'm going to just return this user consumer using this child function. When I reload the browser, you can notice I'm going to get dark, the theme name and the username. So this statement is going to get two different context value and display them in the console. Now what if you want to pass this value to the component? For example, let's say you have a user component and you want to pass both this value to it. You can just simply create here a property called user is equal to and you can pass this user context to this user property and you can just create a theme property to this component and pass theme context to it like this. So now you can use both these values inside this user component. As you know, I don't have this user component. Let me comment it. Now, as you can see how easy it is to consume multiple context values. You can notice I'm going to just create two contexts and put them one by one. If you want, you can create multiple context. That's upon you. You have to just create a nested context. So I hope you understand how to create multiple context in the React application. I hope you understand how to work with context in the React application. Next, we will start learning Redux.